Now that we've had a chance to see how the system is used to remove scratches and acid etch graffiti, we wanted to take a moment and talk to you about what the most commonly asked questions are by new users. Hopefully this will, you know, save you some time and, and give you the answers that you're going to run, you know, to questions you're going to run into relatively quickly. Uh, the first question we get often, Rick, is uh, people will be working on a piece of glass and they'll notice, you know, while they're grinding that they're getting swirl marks in the glass. What are they doing wrong? What do they need to do? That's a pretty common problem and it could be a number of things. One common problem that will result in swirls is when you're using a brand new disc, occasionally a piece of abrasive may break free and create a swirl. Easily removed, just keep going over it with that disc and you'll remove that swirl. Another, I think, even more common way to get swirls is people tend to move the actual machine too quickly from side to side, creating an overlapping swirl. So just slow it down and just move it a nice, evenly paced side to side. Um, and the other area that would create some swirls would be not keeping the grinding pad flat on the surface of the glass. So if you, go, if you run into the swirls, that's a good way to uh, relieve or resolve that situation. So, so pretty much anyone who's seeing swirls, calm down, relax. You're going to be able to get them out. You just got to take the time to take them out. Uh, it's going to be more prevalent with newer discs mm -hmm. when they're first putting them on. They want to make sure they're keeping the disc flat. And then again, moving in a slow, even pace. Right.